Welcome to Cat Quest. We'll be playing as a cat, yep, shocker, I know, who's on a quest to find his sister and slay some dragons along the way. In my attempt to unlock all 23 trophies, I'll have to clear all 52 dungeons, complete all 62 side quests, and reach level 99. Sounds fun, but was it? Let's find out. So sit back, relax, and join me as a platinum cat quest. I quickly jumped right into the game, taking out enemies, earning gold, and learning a new skill. While wandering around, I unlocked my first trophy for locating one monument. Beelingard Lore. Moving on, I tackled a side quest and entered a dungeon. Once back outside, I handed in the quest and obtained my third piece of armor or weapon. Mr. Kitty. Shortly after that, I bought my second magic skill for 50 gold. What a bargain. The way we earn gold is pretty simple. You get it for completing quests and also enemies drop it when you defeat them. Light of the Arcane. I then headed towards the next main quest and was told I would need to level up and get more gear before taking on the dragon. So I tried it anyway, and honestly, it didn't go too bad. In the end though, I did die. So I went, continued killing monsters and reached level 10. Ooh. Cat Venturer. And less than 10 minutes later, I defeated more enemies, threw some charm in the river and completed my Sips side quest. Helper of Cats. And even better than that, Less than three minutes later, I cleared my fifth dungeon, making short work of these trophies, and so far, I'm loving the game. Dungeon Litter! I continued on, completed a few more side quests, which had got me to level 15, got a few new skills, one of which would heal me, which was clutch all the way through the whole game, along with some better gear. So, I got my ass back over to the dragon for a rematch. I've got the dragon this time. It's coming down. God, I've got to be careful still though. I do have a heal now though as well, so I can heal. Which is clutch. There we go, Dragon Slayer. Defeated the flame dragon. Moments later, I found another monument, which meant I now had half of them. Happy days. Bailingen Guard Lawmaker. The next trophy took another hour to unlock. The next dragon boss fight was another higher leveled enemy. So I finished some more dungeons, continued leveling up, and then completed my 30th side quest. Servant of Cats. Shortly after, I found another shrine and learned my fourth magic skill. Ur of the Arcane. While exploring another dungeon, I obtained my 30th piece of armor and weapons. I don't know where my cat's storing all these things, but I'll take them. Fashionista Cat. Now, moving on with the main missions, I was tasked with taking out the second dragon, but unfortunately for me, it was in the middle of a lake which I couldn't access. So, I headed towards this little place called Port Town? Paw Town? I guess it's supposed to be Port, but with Paw. Anyway, if I completed a few side missions here for the governor, I'd be able to learn, or he would teach me, I guess, how to walk on water. So I got my butt into gear and finished a few, meaning I could now walk on water and defeat the boss. I could also reach a bunch of new areas with this ability, and even better, it made traversing the map so much easier and so much faster. Dragon Master. With my newfound skill, I was able to find the final monument. Fillingard Lawmaster. After that, I was completing more side quests because I had to learn how to fly now. So first I walk on water, now I'm gonna learn how to fly. It's all good, this cat can do everything. Either way, I needed to learn to fly so I could access the third dragon boss. While I was doing that, I found this Halloween looking island. It was a pretty cool area. And on the island, I found and bought my final magic skill. Power of the Arcane. 
Moments later, I was completing the side quest Dragon Flight, where a bush transformed into a dragon. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Either way, after defeating it, I gained the ability to fly, meaning I could continue with the main quest and I could travel even faster than before. I thought walking across the water was fast, but now I can fly at like double the speed. Ooh, furry cat venturer for reaching level 50. Damn, look at that, that's so quick. I should have just learned this before walking on water. Heading straight towards the third and final dragon, I easily beat it. Boom, oh, Dragon Legend. That was easy. I then quickly cleared my 25th dungeon. Dungeon Scrounger. Completed more side quests and then unexpectedly unlocked the trophy for completing all 62. Savior of Cats. Oh, I've completed all of the side quests. Okay. Hmm. That trophy must have unlocked early because if I go to this quest board, I've got a quest for level 75. So I clearly haven't completed them all? I mean, unless there was maybe some added as free DLC or the trophy's just glitched and giving me a little bit early, I don't know, but I'll take the trophy. Even though I technically didn't need to do any more side quests, I did them anyway because they were great for XP and they were just really fun to be honest, there was a lot of really fun side missions. But obviously I needed the XP anyway to get to level 99. And they also sometimes gave me like new gear that was unique. Speaking of, I completed this really strange but fun side quest that involved a possessed Santa Claus. Yeah, I'm not joking. But I earned my 66 piece of armor or weapon. Ooh, Fashionista Lion. Which meant all I needed to do now was complete the last few remaining dungeons and get to level 99. I could then go and finish the game's story. At this point, I was level 74 and about seven hours deep, so I got to work. I had already completed most of all the side quests anyway. I'm one of those that just goes through and does everything as I go, so then the cleanup at the end isn't really that bad. But you know how it goes by now, champs. We killed some more monsters, we completed more dungeons, we continued exploring, and then I entered my last dungeon I needed to complete. I actually had been here before, because it, I can't remember what piece of gear it was, but it was like one of the best pieces of gear that I'd got in the game that was from this location. But what I didn't realise is you had to kill all the enemies in this area, which in this case means awkwardly attacking the traps. There we go, Dungeon Master. Now, I just needed another nine level ups. But at this point, I'd finished every single side quest, so I found this level 99 dungeon called the Hidden Cave that was super easy and really quick to finish. I think it took like a minute and a half to complete. It had a few enemies, but best of all, it had three dragons. And each time I finished it, I'd get like one or two level ups. I thought going for level 99 might have been a bit of a grind, but it really wasn't. Alright, only two more level ups. So this could be the last one, and if this isn't the last run, then the next one definitely will be. I feel like I probably won't hit it in this run, just because I feel like I get maybe like a level up and a half, or a level up and 75%, and I needed a little bit more than that, so... Oh, there it is. I forgot I only needed level 99. I thought it was 100. Super Cat Venturer reached the max level, I assume the max level, of 99. Let's see if I get more XP if I find this guy. Well, the XP bars definitely still going up on the top left there, so maybe you can get past level 99. Alright, so you definitely can level past 
99 then. Pretty cool. I mean, I don't really have a reason to because all I need now is one more trophy, which is to basically just finish the game and the platinum is mine. So now that I'm over leveled, I went past the point of no return, had no issue whatsoever with the final boss. I absolutely destroyed him and saved the kingdom. And honestly, I really enjoyed this game the whole way through. So I certainly recommend playing it. Hey, Dragon Hero completed the main quest and the Platinum Trophy, 100% Meow. And we got Meow Game Unlocked. <laughs> Let's go. After around eight hours of playtime, that's four hours quicker than the guide, my time with Cat Quest was over. And my little hero could rest, at least for now. So leave a like, subscribe for Cat Quest 2, and I'll catch you all on the next video.